As an elementary STEAM educator, one of my favorite parts of my job is teaching students coding. Whether they're coding an animation or an interactive game, or whether they're programming a robot to move autonomously, students love coding. The problem is, sometimes my students struggle with decomposition, breaking a complex problem into smaller problems, and with debugging, finding errors in their code and fixing it when the code doesn't work properly. Decomposition and debugging are both components of computational thinking. I teach computational thinking in the context of computer science, so in an effort to solve this problem, I conducted a literature review focusing on computational thinking skills and computer science skills to help my students. With all that said, why is it important to teach students computer science? When students are exposed to computer science instruction in elementary school, they develop computational thinking skills, they become content producers and not just consumers of content, and they build higher order thinking skills and collaborative problem solving skills. So knowing that students benefit from learning computer science and computational thinking skills, I researched some specific interventions for computer science instruction. One of those interventions for computer science instruction is explicit instruction. For students who struggle with following multi-step directions, the use of explicit instruction can be invaluable. Among other things, explicit instruction can include beginning with clear goals, providing and modeling step-by-step -step instructions, using clear language and clarifying new terminology, providing for lots of guided practice, monitoring student performance, and providing immediate feedback. While explicit instruction should be carefully balanced with open-ended inquiry, it's important to note that it can go a long way toward reducing student frustration and stress. Another intervention for helping students gain computer science skills is student-to-student -student collaboration. Collaboration can easily be fostered in a computer science context because many coding problems are open-ended and emphasize creativity. Student-to-student -student collaboration can take the form of cooperative learning in pairs or small groups set up by the classroom teacher. It can take the form of student-to-student -student help seeking where students seek out help from other students, thereby removing the teacher from the role of being the sole expert in the classroom, and in organically formed collaborations where students naturally seek out pairs or small groups just because they enjoy working together while coding. Another intervention is unplugged activities. Unplugged activities help apply computer science concepts without the use of computers. They're typically done in collaborative groups and may involve students being up from their seats. Because of their kinesthetic nature and the collaboration with peers, they've been proven to help engage students with disabilities and other students who are struggling. In addition to specific interventions for helping students who are struggling with computer science, one overarching recommendation I found in my research was the recommendation that schools should consider implementing a comprehensive K-6 computer science curriculum. According to Kong 2016, student interest is the ideal motivation, and we want students to form a habit loop, meaning that we want them to be motivated by the computer science so much that they become creators of content. When students are motivated by their own interest and they form this habit loop, we see that they will want to become lifelong creators. A comprehensive K-6 computer science curriculum should be based on a scaffolded approach to instruction. In other words, students should transition from one programming language or coding platform to increasingly more challenging ones as it is developmentally appropriate to do so. In conclusion, computational thinking is fundamental for everyone. Computer science instruction is one of the most common ways to develop computational thinking. And while there are interventions that can support struggling learners of computer science, the key is to implement a comprehensive computer science curriculum.